situ bapak baru, mama baru Saya langsung habis Cuki politik Fuck elit global Saya jadi korban penguasa Gadeng moral Drama tanpa kontes Mati bila protes Negara punya akses Media dorang kongres Salah jadi benar Yang benar pun kesasar Sejarah tanpa akar Propaganda dorang sebar Yang lain so the West Papuan Film Festival is a festival that's touring across Australia in many different cities. Um, it's showcasing five Juby, five to six Juby TV documentaries um, that have been made to showcase the humanity of people living in Papua um, or West Papua. Some people might know it here in Australia. Um, and it's all about, yeah, awareness raising on many different issues like extraction, um, sports and racism, um, history, culture, and yeah, very diverse, um, I guess, experiences of West Papuans. And why is it important that Australians know what's happening in West Papua? Well, first of all, because we have a West Papuan diaspora in Australia, and second of all, because West Papua is on our doorstep. And um, third of all, Australia um, does support um, in providing aid to Indonesia's military, which is currently, um, you know, dispossessing and oppressing um, Indigenous West Papuan people. So um, it's important that we call attention to that, um, you know, as taxpayers, as citizen of citizens of this country. So, what do you think the election of Prabowo means for West Papua? The election of Prabowo, it means. Definitely for West Papua, it means that the future is grim. It's not looking good, but clearly that in his election campaign, he promoted in order to maintain stability, more deployment of troops. So that in itself already signals uh, the future of this new president of Indonesia in the um, West Papua case. The, the case that uh, about the torture video, it's not an isolated incident. It only reinforces the systematic brutality that has been going for a very long time. And what it means is that um, there is lack of media reporting, investigative journalism. There is lack of a fair and impartial um, observations into these human rights cases. And that one particularly, Kind of demonstrate that, like there is lack of political willingness from the state, as uh, particularly to address this and bring at least some of, or highlight some of the human rights cases, so that it builds some trust amongst the indigenous Papuans to the authorities. But so far, there isn't. So this torture video definitely reinforces this systematic racism, discrimination against the indigenous people of West Papua. As we see that the world that we're living in, um, those who are in power continues to abuse them. And whether it's in West Papua, whether it's in the Kanaki, uh, New Caledonia, or whether it's in Maunui, Guam, Hawaii, and as far as in the Middle East, we know what's happening in Gaza. Um, the indigenous solidarity is of essence, um, particularly in this day and age. And part of this was Papua Mini Film Festival that we travel, that will be traveling around nine venues. Miganjin particularly is coming together through the hip hop artists from the First Nations, from the Palestine, from West Papua, from the Greater Pacifica um, youth, and as far as Sudan as well, um, a spoken word. Um, artists all coming together to speak truth to power and really building on that indigenous solidarity. So this is something that um, we've seen as well in a long time that is needed uh, when um, every other forms of um, support is not there but when the indigenous First Nations people coming together through the music, conscious lyrics um, and collaborated through the, the words that will be spoken, um, that's powerful. And so that's something that we aim and continue to build uh, from the ongoing um, struggles, yeah, especially in the respective um, places which I just highlighted. So respect to it, all the, you know, the artists as well, um, and those who, you know, they, 
people that we know that they are the change that we need um, and who came to come and set, watch their films. This, you, I'm calling for you that we are the people, we are the change um, that we want to see in our communities, in this society and in the world today. Respect. Thank <laughs> you.